to VLB Halloween. Sometimes I feel like an animal, which happens to look a lot like a Lisa Frank snow leopard. And I'm gonna show you how to release your inner animal this Halloween. If you like this rainbow goodness, be sure you subscribe for more and share with friends to show love. Now, let's make some magic happen. I'm gonna first start out by priming my skin to create a barrier between my bare skin and the makeup so nothing gets in those pores. And this is essential for Halloween makeup. I'm gonna block those brows out because we do not need them. And for foundation, we're actually gonna be using an SFX cream paint in white. And I absolutely love this one. It has great coverage and the pigmentation of it is fantastic. We need to make our skin super, super white like a snow leopard. And we're just going all over the face and covering up those brows, any blank areas. And we're gonna hit that body later with this cream paint as well. So just keep it around and keep it handy. I also like to apply this to the brows just to give them some more white base to really cover them up. And we're going over them with a baby blue cream paint. And I absolutely love this color. I think it is so gorgeous. And I noticed it is used a lot in Lisa Frank artwork. So I wanted to include it in this look for sure. And keep it a main focus, which would be amazing on the brows. What I did next was I applied some glitter to them, and this is an iridescent glitter, and I just packed it all over the brow using a flat brush. Next, I'm going to go in and start the cut crease out. We're going to be doing almost like a sunset cut crease, and here I'm just using a yellow eyeshadow and going right into the crease and really winging this out. I like to go underneath that with a hot pink shadow, and I'm just layering that right underneath it, really blending it together and then winging it out again. Go in with your blending brush, blend, blend away. You can never get too much blending in. And here I'm going in with a beautiful purple right underneath that pink so this all fades into a beautiful sunset cut crease, fading right up. And that's what I love so much about Lisa Frank artwork. It's kind of a mixture of warm and also cool tones. So you got your blues, and then you got your really warm shades, which I think which is really, really pretty. So here I'm just blending everything together, making everything look seamless. And here I'm going to go in and cut the crease. I'm just using the cream paint we use on our face to cut it. And I'm really making sure to go right into my crease area and a little bit above so I can over exaggerate that lid space to make my eyes look really, really big. I'm going to go in and deepen up this look using that purple shadow on a really small brush and just deepen that crease up. Blend, blend, blend. Yes. Here I'm going to apply some pink glitter to my lid. And I love this color. This is Polly from Violet Voss. And I'm just packing that right on to give a nice shine to the lid. And here I'm going to be winging out the liner. It didn't do anything too crazy, but I wanted to give these cat eyes some fleekiness. So I did go in and line them out just with a black liquid liner. Here I'm popping on some feather lashes. And you all know I love my feather lashes, so I decided to rock them with this look and then just applied some mascara to the tips of the lashes. Now I'm gonna be creating that lower lash line that looks really cat-like with a black eyeliner first. I'm just over-exaggerating my waterline again. I do this with a lot of my looks to make my eyes look really, really big. And then I'm going under that black liner with a blue shadow and just smudging this out into the cut crease so it all connects together. Now I'm going to be using a white eyeliner to really line that waterline very heavily in white to make my eyes pop and look huge. And then you want to go in and create your inner tear duct to look a lot like a cat's eye. So you want to really elongate it and just shoot straight out into the nose area and create a very sharp point using a really sharp liquid liner that is very precise and very black. And here I'm just going in with the black shadow and really deepening up that lower lash line we created, making sure it's very cat-like and black. So next you're gonna wanna apply some false lashes on the lower lash line that we created and I used some really thin, wispy, long ones and just put that on that black line that is above the blue shadow that we really shaded out and this is gonna give the appearance of huge cat eyes. And here I'm just blending in the foundation. As you're working through this look, it can get a little messy since we're not setting it so you wanna go in and touch it up and make sure that you go in and set with a white powder. And here I'm using the MAC Cosmetics setting powder for the face and it's called Shivering White. And I believe this is a Studio Fix powder and I love, love this because it adds so much brightness to each and every Halloween look. So it is definitely a go-to for me. 
And now we're going to be draping using a hot pink eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be going along the contours of my face and onto the cheekbones very, very heavily with this beautiful pink eyeshadow. And I wanted to go over it with a lot of colors I see in the Lisa Frank artwork, so I decided to pop it with a yellow. And I'm just using this right above the pink and really dabbing this into the pink so it gives a beautiful ombre fade. And I was so, so in love with the way this looked. I kept looking in the viewfinder because I was sort of hypnotized by the blend. I just loved it. So now we're gonna create the cat-like nose. And we're gonna go in and create this leopard's nose pretty, pretty thin. I didn't wanna go too he heavy with the nose. I just wanted it to look like a leopard's nose, but nothing too crazy. So I was pretty light with it. I added some little dots above the lips. And then I went in with a liquid suede in Alien, which is black, and then the Sway liquid suede from NYX Cosmetics on the lower lid. Now I'm going to be shading around the nostrils using a pink eyeshadow, and this is going to add some depth to the look. And it also really mimics the shading that is on the leopard photo I was using for reference. And I noticed that there was uh, quite a bit of shading around the face using pinks and really bright shades. So I wanted to incorporate that in this look. Just shade around where you feel a little bit of hollowness in the face and it gives a more harsher animalistic look. I went over it with some orange and yellow eyeshadow just to blend everything together. Here I'm going in and creating those leopard spots. And I actually have never done this before, but it was really, really fun to give it my first shot. And it's actually very easy. You just kind of go in a circular motion, but you don't connect the circle. So you can do two parts of a circle or three parts of a circle. And you can use any colors you want, but I wanted this to be really cohesive with this rainbow leopard look. So I used all the colors you pretty much see on my face. I went in with the blue, then the hot pink. And these are kind of like little kisses, if you look closely, like little kissy lips. So you can kind of use that as a way for you to draw yours on. It's very, very easy, and it's actually really, really fun. You can add as many or as little as you want, but I added small, medium, and large spots all over the face, a lot by the cheeks as well. I went in with yellow in between each spot to highlight and really bring the spot forward, and I thought that the yellow was a really nice, warm touch to this look. Next, I'm going to be adding some of that poly glitter to my lip, and I'm just applying it to the bottom lip to really highlight it. And also, I'm going to be going along the bridge of the nose on each side of the nose and around the face on the high points of my cheeks. So this really gives a beautiful glistening highlight, and it's very girly and pretty, and you guys know I love my glitter, so I had to use it with this look, of course. Gotta get that forehead, gotta get all around the face, yes. Told you I was in love with this look, I can't stop looking at myself. Alright, here I'm gonna be using the white cream paint. I'm jamming out of some tunes while I do this. And I'm gonna be blending this all over my body, and depending on what you're wearing for a Halloween party will depend on how much of your body you need to cover. But I was wearing a tube top and it looked really, really nice, just a black tube top. And I covered all the way to my chest and my arms and everything like that. So I was completely, completely white like a snow leopard. You can see how opaque this paint is. It's amazing. So I'm going to be shading the center of my chest using a baby blue eyeshadow. And I just layered that on and went in with a hot pink under the jawline because we got to cut that jaw. And I also started to shade the body with the hot pink eyeshadow. So it's just going to give like a really beautiful, colorful halo to the look. I went in with yellow over the pink to bring that warmth into this, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. And then of course the spots for the body come in. You want to do these about twice as big as the ones on your face. You want them to be pretty proportionate with your body. So I went in with uh, these first, the blue, and I just love this blue. It's literally like a neon blue, absolutely gorgeous. And I went all around the neck and then I went in with the, um, the pink and the yellow. So I just layered these all over. Like I said, you can add as many as you want, but I think adding a lot looked really, really good. I decided to go in with pink in between some of the spots, which I ended up really, really liking, and I added a shade of peach also to these spots. And of course, we gotta add glitter to the body. I am using the face and body glitter in gold. And I'm dabbing it all over the place because I wanted to add that warmth and glisten to this look. And I think it looks really, really nice, especially on the chest. So now you want to pop on your wig. And I have this beautiful candy wig I was so in love with. And it was giving me, like, Farrah Fawcett vibes. 
that's exactly how I wanted to style it. So I just kind of teased it and I flipped it to the side and kind of uh, messed around with my bangs. And I just loved, loved the vibes it was giving me. Love it. You want to pop in your Halloween contacts? This is a necessity for any Halloween look. And you are complete. And we've brought out your inner animal. Now you guys can see mine. It's Elisa Frank, Snow Leopard. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment down below if you loved it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. And I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial.